Hello everyone. God is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. So says the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, 26 to 28. For anyone inquiring about the Catholic Church, the existence of God is fundamental. In the modern world, the possibility of a supreme being who governs the universe and claims certain rights over his creatures is continually brought into question. Aside from downright atheism, many live as if God does not exist or see him to be indifferent to the concrete situations of men and women in our world. Others think he is either sleeping or dead, making true believers the objects of ridicule. Whatever the case, it is certain that God's existence is no longer something everyone takes for granted. There are, however, ways of coming to know God in this world. We know with certainty that love, anger, joy and beauty exist even if we are unable to measure or weigh them. We know with certainty that we yearn for happiness and never-ending life. It also takes a deliberate kind of blindness to look at the material universe in its wonderful order and array with its glorious abundance of living creatures and somehow not see their maker. Every human person is created with a fundamental desire for God. This desire is expressed in our ongoing quest for truth, beauty and love and prompts us to ask the basic questions, which are who am I? Why am I here? What is the meaning of my life? Is there life after death? These are religious questions. So in that sense, we are all religious beings, whether we acknowledge it or not. We can come to a certain knowledge of God's existence from the created world as well. There is order and beauty in the world that is capable of being enjoyed by us. St. Paul says, for instance, For what can be known about God is plain. Ever since the creation of the world, God's invisible nature, his eternal power and deity, have been clearly persist, perceived in the things that he has made. That's Romans chapter 1, 19-20. And Psalm 14 in the Old Testament says, The fool says in his heart there is no God above. We can also arrive at a knowledge of God by the natural light of human reason, and in particular through our conscience, which Blessed John Newman calls the voice of God within us. Through reason we seek meaning for our lives and the world in which we live. Even more so, our conscience, that persistent inner voice which enjoins us to do good and avoid evil, reminds us continually of God's presence within us. In our pursuit of goodness, we know instinctively that there must be a being who is goodness itself. The Catechism explains that conscience is God's voice echoing in the depths of our very being. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.